of the American desert lies a forest turned to stone, the petrified forest. Grim, silent, mysterious. Here in a lonely desert tavern, fate draws together a strange company. Alan Squire, a vagabond adventurer running away from his past. Gabrielle Maple, a beautiful girl weary of the desert solitude, eager to escape with the first man who comes her way. Bose Hammond, an ex-football hero down on his luck. Paul Chisholm, multimillionaire banker vacationing with his disillusioned young wife, Dorothy. Gramp Maple, a sly old reprobate. And Duke Mantee, vicious leader of a notorious band of gunmen hiding out after a gang massacre. In a short space of 24 eventful hours, these characters live a lifetime of romance, adventure, terror, and tragedy. It's one of the most unusual stories ever brought to the screen, the petrified forest. Well, if you must know, I'll tell you the extent of my pride. Gabrielle gave me this dollar. You did? It's none of your business. Would you like to know what she was going to give me when those rats showed up? Would you like to know? Well, speaking of rats, of all the low, slimy things. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, now, Gabrielle, now, you mustn't blame Bose. You must remember, he's a man of muscle. He's suffering from the pangs of frustration. I said you were a dirty low. I'm sorry, Gabby. I didn't mean it. Honest, I didn't. They've got me absolutely crazy mad with all those guns staring me in the but face. Shut up, Bose. Step over to the other side of the room, half back. Wouldn't you like someone to be in love with you? Yes, Gabrielle, I... I would like someone in love with me. Do you think I'm attractive? There are better words than that for what you are. Do you mind if I speak up, my dear? Perhaps I could tell you some things that... What do you know about me? I don't know about you, my dear. But I do know what it means to repress yourself and starve yourself. What were you saying? I'm telling you for your own good, Manti. They know where you're heading, they're picked up on your trail. And they'll get you. What's the matter with you, Duke? Do something! Shut up! Shut up! Give me time to think! No, Duke. You want revenge, don't you? You want to go out of your way again to get that blonde who snitched. Well, don't do it, Duke. She has snitched! Come on, Duke! I told you to shut you up. You know they're gonna get you anyway. You're obsolete, Duke. Like me, you've got to die. Well, then die for freedom. That's worth it. Don't give up your life for anything so cheap and unsatisfactory as revenge. <laughs> Any woman's worth everything that any man has to give. Anguish, ecstasy, faith, jealousy, love, hatred, life or death. Sometimes I feel as if I was sparkling all over and I want to go out and do something absolutely crazy and marvelous. Just keep in mind that I and the boys as candidates for hanging. And the first time any one of you makes a wrong move, I'm gonna kill a whole lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> 